been wearing that haircut for a bet, have you? <laughs> Which haircut? This one. Yes, yeah. no, this is, this is the haircut of, uh, of the character that I've been uh, working with for, for nearly a year now. And it's, um, it's a programme which will be coming on, on television quite soon, at the end of May. It's something I don't really want to talk about a tremendous amount because I mean I mean not I I, I know the haircut makes it difficult not, <laughs> not to want to know what yeah. kind of character could possibly <laughs> lead a normal life over this this cut. But it's um it's a situation comedy. It's six half hour programmes and it's called The Black Adder and it'll be on towards the end of May I, I believe and we still haven't finished it. So a touch of the medieval I would say. It is exactly right. Yes, yeah. it's, it's set in. In medieval times. Quite. <laughs> don't want to say too much. No, I don't. <laughs> I get a lot of people on this show, do you notice, who refuse to tell me anything about themselves <laughs> or the shows that they're doing. It's a mystery, yes. Yeah. yes. Well, it's best to keep, keep people waiting. Yes, it, it's that thing of, of not wanting to blow things up too much uh, so people expect, expect everything and, yeah. and then they're bound to, bound to be disappointed when they see it. I hope you won't be disappointed when you see it. But, uh, but anyway, it's coming soon. You see your face as your greatest asset, your facial dexterity. Mark, um, how kindly I put that. Uh, yes, facial dexterity. It, it's something that I never... I never realised I had until I was about 20, 21, I only seven years ago, yeah. when I, I, I realised that uh, I did have this face that seemed to have the, all the permutations that, 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 that could be funny. And the problem is that you don't... You know, one doesn't like to be labelled a face puller uh, because it, you feel as though if you have got a face that you know that's malleable and can, one can go like that, <laughs> and, you know, you can twist around. <laughs> but it, um, that you feel that people are going to assume that you're just, you know, that's all you can do, and and if in doubt, go, you know, and, and, <laughs> and someone will laugh. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but you don't want that. So I, I I I try and use it in in a characterful way so that every character has his face and it tends to be different from from some other characters but I uh, uh, but yes it's 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 funny how sometimes when you ask a question and you and you can't remember what the question was half, half <laughs> the facial dexterity yes the facial dexterity of course of course, oh, of course yeah thing. you've always had a, an ambition to do a film yes and I understand you've, you've fulfilled that ambition. Well, yes well I mean if I've done those um, those filmed versions of stage yes. shows, but otherwise, but I've always wanted to play a part in a, in, in a James Bond film. I really always wanted to be, to be the villain. I always wanted to be the man who said, not so fast, Mr. Bond. <laughs> you know that man? Ooh, this one who's uh, about to escape. Not so fast, Mr. Bond. And I always wanted to say that in, in the film. Um, but I did one last November, I think it was, which is the new Sean Connery Bond film, Never Say Never Again, which will be out sometime towards the end of the year, I suppose. And, uh, but unfortunately, I don't play a villain. I play, I play a goody-goody. I play, I play the British consul in the Bahamas, who's a very, very dry man. And, uh, so and it's, it's not a serious part, is it? It's... <laughs> <laughs> My ambition fulfilled. No, no, not really, no. It's got... It's got but it, it's a, at least it's a, it's a nice, I think, quite rounded... You wouldn't character. have any ambitions to play the part of Bond himself. <laughs> Well, actually, Cubby, old actually. Cubby is looking for a, <laughs> another James Bond. <laughs> but I like to play James Bond. I, I, I once thought I'd like to play Doctor Who, um, but I, I didn't. Mm. <laughs>